Today I'm gonna talk about a new site for Freestyle Libre. For the past two weeks I had the Freestyle Libre sensor in my abdomen and I'm gonna share with you my experience in case you wanna try out this new location. Let's go! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. If you watched my previous videos, you already know that I've been testing various alternative sites for your Freestyle Libre sensor. In the last episodes I reviewed thigh and chest. Today we will look at abdomen and if you want me to try some other locations that you always wanted to try but were afraid to do so, please write them in the comments below and I will try to test them as soon as possible. I will share all the results as always with you on this channel. But now let's talk about the abdomen and uh, belly and uh, hips and uh, love handles or whatever you want to call it. I will again focus on four main key categories, placement, comfort, durability and accuracy and each category will receive rating from 1 to 10. Maybe you heard that abdomen is often criticized for accuracy. Make sure you watch all the way to the end where I will share with you my accuracy results and how abdomen overall compared to the locations that I previously tested. So let's talk about the placement first. I placed the sensor about 2 inches or 5 centimeters above my waistline. You see I'm using the front section of the hip which is slightly less exposed to external objects that might rip out the sensor on the outer section of the hip. This is the place that I like the best but it also had its disadvantages which I will get to later. I also asked other users in various Facebook groups where on abdomen area they place their sensors. And I found a huge variety of options starting from the belly and love handles going all the way to the upper side section of the abdomen and some users even put the sensor on their back. You can see all the possible spots in the pictures on the screen here. As I said I was most comfortable with the hips because I thought this area is probably the safest. And this was purely based on my gut feeling but uh, I just went ahead with it. I did not have any issues with the hips from the placement or removal perspective because I find this area is uh, easily reachable. I can imagine then placing the sensor on your back would be probably a bit more challenging. Again friendly reminder don't put the sensor in your muscle because that would be painful and try to avoid spots where you typically apply insulin because that could negatively impact the Libre accuracy. I gave the abdomen only 8 out of 10 points for placement because the area Area is less flat compared to an arm or a thigh so not perfect but good enough before we talk about accuracy durability and comfort let me know in the comments below have you ever tried abdomen and how did you like it share your experience with the community so how long did the sensor last on my hip well I managed to do it for the whole two weeks uh, although around day 10 the sensor started to peel off slightly, I didn't put any over patch on on anything, but I was uh, very careful to not peel it off completely and I managed to do it for another 4 days. But I want to quickly talk about what I think cost it. Number 1, I think there is a little bit more sweat going on in the abdomen area compared to an arm or a thigh. Number two, when you shower, the water runs down your body and it hits the sensor directly in that location so it gets more exposure to water in general. And number three, uh, there is a lot of body movement going out in that area. So anytime you bend down, when you sit down, when you stand up, this abdomen area moves and the muscles, the abdominal muscles move. And all these three factors contribute to the sensor peeling off a little bit earlier. But this was not a big deal, this was not a game changer, just something I wanted to throw out there. Otherwise I found the hip area quite secure because the hip is protected by my arms and my hands so I don't hit into things with my hip. Uh, there is not a lot of enemies for that specific spot. The only enemy I found is the seat belt in the car where I have to be careful to not pull on the sensor with the seat belt. But uh, getting dressed, getting undressed, that went just fine. So really good secure location from that perspective. And so mainly for the peeling off issues, I would give abdomen 7 out of 10 for durability. So let's talk about the comfort. Scanning the abdomen is very easy, very cheap. If you want to hide your sensor, you can hide it very well under your clothes. 
uh, and nobody will see it. Unless you take the shirt off, of course. Speaking of comfort, I have to admit that my skin on my hip was a little bit itchy. Started on day 10 when the sensor started to peel off, it started to be a bit itchy and I really wanted to take it off, but I managed to keep it on for another 4 days. So a little bit of skin irritation was there and that's why I would give abdomen 6 out of 10 for comfort. I would be curious, does Libre cause you any skin irritations? Please let me know in the comments below. So let's be honest now, abdomen has really terrible reputation for accuracy. So could I actually rely on the readings? Well, I was checking the Libre readings much more often than I normally do against glucometer. Uh, I was checking quite a bit and in most cases the sensor readings were about 20 to 30% lower than the glucometer. But that's only me, a sample of one. One patient with one sensor. But there has been an actual study done by experts who looked at a sample of patients who were trying the same location and they looked at the results as compared for this group to other locations and these results are much more appropriate to look at when we want to talk about accuracy because we had such bigger sample. This study actually showed that accuracy of the sensor readings from abdomen was lower than the accuracy from upper arm or a thigh. And you can see the numbers of the absolute relative difference for these three locations on the screen now. The lower this number is, the more accurate the location is. And anything below 15% is generally acceptable. And so you see, these are not such great results for abdomen. So, a bit disappointing, and that's why I give abdomen 4 out of 10 points for accuracy. So you can probably see that overall I was not so excited with the abdomen location. Although the spot is quite discreet and quite secure, it's not very accurate and it's not very comfortable. And so overall this location receives 25 points, which is the lowest score so far. But regardless of the bad results, I always say everyone is different and you have to do what works for you, for your lifestyle and your personal preference. Keep in mind that no other location other than the back of your arm are officially licensed by Abbott. And if you use some of the alternative locations, it is at your own risk. So be responsible. Check out the playlist on the screen now to learn about the spots that I like better than the abdomen. In my next video, I will be talking about sensor placement in the forearm. So consider subscribing and hit the bell so you don't miss it. I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!